The right to express one's feelings on issues comes with restrictions which affect individual freedom of speech. These restrictions, which are sometimes enshrined in legal documents, are meant to check excesses among people. Correspondent Abubakar Abdullahi sent in this report on the observance of freedom of speech by Nigerians. The report. Freedom of speech is the right to speak, write and share ideas and opinions without facing punishment from government or anyone who is at the receiving end of the speech. Kelly Group practitioner Christian Okonko, while giving an insight on freedom of speech, described it as a fundamental human right that has limitations. It's, it's a fundamental human right. In fact, the right is wider than what we expect because it even contains in people's accepted and people's and rights. But what happens is that that right has limitations when every right to have as an individual can be curtailed. He maintained that it is the responsibility of all citizens to express their views on what is happening in society. It is only when you are being imprisoned, you are being detained. You have committed an offense, you have been detained for the police or anywhere, or maybe in the prison custody, as many of us have custody, that, that can be, that you have a limitation to freedom of speech. But in practice, it's not that way. The legal practitioner decreed the attitude of some citizens who take advantage of social media to abuse freedom of speech by expressing views that are capable of causing damage to individuals or even bridging the peace, adding that it is justifiable for security agencies to affect the arrest and prosecution of such individuals. For many, more needs to be done in the area of enlightenment for the public to be more aware of the freedom guaranteed them so that they can make meaningful contributions on issues affecting the country. Leaders of uh, civil society organizations need to do more in terms of orientations, in terms of sensitization, in terms of creating awareness to the citizens first, because there are people who certainly they are suffering due to one thing or the other, but to express them, they, that fear is there. So by the time the more awareness is done to remove the fear in their minds, they'll come up to express their views in a peaceful manner. He said security agencies and judiciary should also ensure that citizens are allowed to express their views to enable them to feel a sense of freedom.